In addition to the gauge chart, we've also added a new visualization called a donut chart in this release. So donut charts are very good for showing when you want to sh uh, display contributions of individual parts to the whole. You know, very similar to how you would use a pie chart or a stacked bar chart. Um, it in fact looks very similar to a pie chart, just aesthetically a little bit different. And it also includes the ability to include the total in the middle of the donut that we see here. So let's jump over to QuickSight and see how we build a donut chart. So here you can see a couple that I had already set up, but let's go ahead and add a new visual here. You can see a new visuals type right next to the gauge called the donut chart. So I'm going to select that. The types of fields that it asks for the field wells uh, are one value and one dimension to be the group by for the color. So if I wanted to start with one of my metrics and let's go add something like segment. So here we can see that I have uh, my three different slices uh, labeled by the actual segments themselves. But if you come in here into the formatting options, you can change the size or thickness of the donut itself. If you'd like to show or hide the total in the middle. And then similar to the pie chart visual, you can control should the data labels be displayed inside or outside, the size of them, the color, as well as what do you actually want to display on the labels. So here you can put the category, which is represented on your legend, and or the metric. So you can choose which ones you want to show. If, if it's more of a dense uh, chart type, uh, meaning that you have more slices that we can't necessarily fit all the labels, you can force the labels to overlap. And if I were to replace this segment with industry, for instance, you know, notice that we don't try and draw some of these. Um, and then you can force it if you would like by saying you'd like them to overlap. Usually I like to, to uncheck that unless I know that there's definitely enough room for it. All right, so that's a quick tutorial on how to leverage the brand new donut charts.